Hello, welcome to World Class Education. My name is Dr. Bradley. With me, I am with Abigail Kampamba. We're going to talk about a number of beautiful things today. And one of them is sensitive issues like uh, relationship. Abigail works for Zambia National, yes. Zambia National Service, which is ZNS. ZNS, right? She's working and she's a student at the same time, apart from work. She's at NIPA doing purchasing and supply. She's a very, very good person, educated, so determined. Uh, Abigail, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. I got a few questions to ask Abigail. Okay, every person has a story to tell. Every person has a story. And today, Abigail and I will be discussing about our stories. Is that okay, Abigail? Yeah. Great. So the first thing is relationship. The relationship between a man and a woman. Family and um, a member of the family. Okay? Different types of relationships. And we're going to start first with family relationships. Do you have a family, Abigail? Yes, I do. Um, I come from a family of four. Okay. Yes, all are female. We're all female. They're all female. That's yes. great. Okay. Um, what I number are you, first of all? What number are you? It's complicated. Okay. It could be the first, third, or the last one. Ah, okay, I see. Yes, so I share a father with two and a mom with one. Ah, I see. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, so I come from a family of four. Family of four, that's wonderful. That's great. Uh, Abby, do you, are you married? No, not yet. No, you, are you yet to? It's complicated. Three years from now. <laughs> three years from now? Yes. Well, come on, why three years? A long time. I think, I don't know, I think but in three years' time I would have gathered myself up. Okay. Yeah. It's when not about the other person, it's about me. It's about you. Yes. When you say gather yourself up, are you talking about pieces or what? Are you broken? Yeah. Did something happen? Why are you gathering yourself up? No, I just want to be sure. That she's the right guy? Yeah, I just, I want to be sure of You've myself. You've got somebody in your life? Yes, I do. Oh, you got a guy. Okay, no names, but you got a guy in your life. Yes. Oh, you love the guy? Yeah, I do. He loves you too, right? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, um, I, I love the word you use, gather myself. It's very, very important. I teach people all the time. I say it's important to find yourself. Okay? Yes. And it gives you strength to know who is the right person in your life. Yeah. Okay? Yes. So, as you're gathering yourself, what have you learned? Um, I need to, the first thing I'm trying to do is find my purpose. Okay. Yes. Um, it's very easy to lose yourself in in a time like this. Exactly. Absolutely. I yes. Believe. We have different age groups at my workplace. We have different age groups. Uh -huh. We have the elderly, but you just have to squeeze yourself in. You have to fit in. Yeah. Though it's not something I like to do, but I try to fit in. So you can get in. Yes. You can stay so, in the game, yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to gather myself up and see where I really belong. I see. I yes. See. Do you love your job? Sorry to ask you that question because so many people work but they don't love their jobs. Yeah. Okay, and then you find there's confusion if you don't love your job. So tell me, Abby. Um I appreciate my job but I feel I can do better. So I don't I like it. I can't say I really love it. You like it. It's yes, because it's it pushes me to say you can do better than this. You, you need to be in a better place than. So you're in are. government. Yes. You're in government, and you feel like your job is okay, but you know that you can do better than just working for government. Yeah. Wow! Amazing. This is my first time in my life to meet a young lady. Admit to the fact. You see, I tell so many people to say, "You you could be working." You see that? But look, finding your purpose can fulfill you as a person. You can be working for a government, makes no difference who you work for. But look, if you're not really, really, really happy, you don't feel yourself, the lights are not, you know, that could be They're a problem. They're very dim. They're very dim, yes. yeah, something like that. All right, here's a very sensitive question. You have a boyfriend, you said, yeah. in a relationship. Yes. What challenges do you feel like, this is hard for me, that you're going through? You feel like, oh my God, it's hard for me. Um understanding his attitude towards certain situations 
understanding his attitude towards certain situations. Yes. Like, well, like what? For, for instance. Let me give the easiest example. Um, I give him a call at 11. He says he's going to call back. Of which he doesn't. The following day, I try to call back. And he's like, oh, I'll call you back. I just forgot. And that goes on for over a week. Then you try to approach the person. The only response you get is... I'm, I'm a busy person. I'm trying to get things done, you know? Yeah. Wow. That's so you want a relationship and um, you call him. He says, I'll call you back. I'll get yeah. back to you. Yeah. And then you call back, I'll get back to you. And then it goes on for two days, three days. He's not getting back to you. Yeah. Not even the same day. No. Wow. That sounds like a huge problem to me. Because someone said in Bemba, So, you know, you're trying to... You're trying to keep him you're like trying a child. to babysit the person, but you're just like I can't. I don't think I can hold up with this anymore. So, so you question. try to approach the matter, and it goes very sour. Really? Yes. Wow. You want you want my opinion in that? Yeah, I think I would appreciate. Since I'm a man. Yeah. When a man he says he's gonna call you, and then he doesn't call you back. Okay. It depends if, you, if you're in the same country, the same city, okay? He has no choice but to call you back. If he says he's going to call you back, he must call you back if you're in the same country. Now, depending on the country where he is, if he's far away, yeah. maybe it might take two days or a day, maybe time difference, you see, something like that, for those who have distant relationships, okay? But in a scenario where he's in the same town, or the same country, or the same city, is not calling you. It's simple. Someone else oh. is keeping him away from you. Okay. It's a fact. You know, facts sometimes it's hurt. It's a hard truth, eh? Hard truth, I would call it. Yeah. So if you, if I mean, three days, this beautiful lady, come on, three days or four days, the man is not even calling back. What happens when he finds a missed call from you? I don't know. He just says he's never with his phone. That's the excuse I get. But he's in the same town? No. A different country? Same country, but not the, not the same town. But same time zones? Yes. It's same time zones, I think it's fair that uh, the man calls back. No message on WhatsApp? No, nothing. No explanation why he never called? No, but with so many status updates. And deals, Ooh, so, yeah. that's crazy. You're saying that he can update his status. Yes. But not send you a message. No. What kind of disrespect is that? <laughs> Whoops, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, okay? So, what do you think you're going to do now that you're facing this kind of a situation? Like... I, I just told you, if a man is doing that, he's cheating on you, which okay. is a straightforward thing. He's working for another company, yes. or he's got a, his own business? A company. He's working. Yes, he's working. See that? Uh, why I'm trying to think of maybe, if he's running his own company, he could be very, very busy. In the night, he has to get back to you. Yes. And if he can't call you on a direct call because you're in a different country, he will use WhatsApp to try. Because sometimes if you're using WhatsApp to try, you could be offline when he's online. So you are online when he's offline. So there's that kind of confusion. You understand? But if he's able to reach you on a normal call in the same country and he's not doing that, yeah. there's only one thing to that. So there's cheating. And if he's not cheating, he just doesn't want you. In communication skills, we have a subject. It's called nonverbal communication. Yeah, yeah. You remember that part? Yes, yes, that the actions speak louder than words. Yes. Than words. So, how long have you endured that situation? I'd call it a pain. Yes. How long? It's been a month now. That's a short time. It's short? No, it's not short. It's long <laughs> enough. <laughs> long enough to contain such an attitude yeah do you feel like you're losing him yes i think so yes i am and you love him 
love would easily fade. No, it, it can't easily fade away. Um, I do love him, but the behavior is pushing me away slowly. So I have to. So you're not the victim. Um, I think I am. You're no, not the, the victim. So you're the victim. Yes. You feel like you're the victim right now. Yes. So you're trying to stand up for yourself. Yes. By pushing him away. No, I'm trying to make things right, but nothing's adding up. Okay, let me ask this. Yes. What have you done to make things right so far? To I try to to talk about the whole thing. Yes, because mm -hmm. we're in different cities, we can't meet up. We don't have enough time to meet up and talk about it in person. Yes, so I try to start the conversation up on phone. Mm -hmm. Say I don't like your attitude. You say you're gonna call back, but you don't. I don't like this new you. This yeah, yeah. yes. Are you sure he's not married? No, he's not. <laughs> he's Do you not. talk in the night? Yes. On video call? Everything. Sometimes when you call him, is his phone always engaged? No. Why don't you think maybe he's busy? Maybe he's uh, committed to work or something like that? I've known his schedules for over two years now, so... Oh, you've been together for this long? Yes. More than two years? Yes. Wow, I would say that uh, you see that. Can I can I ask you personal questions, serious personal questions? Yeah. Not serious personal. <laughs> just personal, not serious. Personal. Do you guys got kids together? No, we don't. But you actually meet like having sex together. Yeah. On distance, did you travel? You have sex. You comes back like that. Yes. Do you have a child? No, I don't. Does he got a child anywhere else? No, he doesn't. He doesn't. How transparent is your relationship? How open is it? Do his, his people, do they know you? His family, they, do they know you? Some members. Some members do? Yes. Okay. And does he know your people? Some people. Some My people. sisters. I mean, two years or three years is a very, very serious relationship, okay? Yes. You're not going to throw it away because of our phone, because he's uh, developed an attitude of uh, staying away from you, mm -hmm. okay? You need to give it time. But i got a question for you. Do you trust him? Do you trust him like it comes to you? Do you trust the man? Men. The man. No, your man. Oh. There's only one man. <laughs> Do you trust him? Um, I would say not... not a hundred percent sadly i wouldn't say a hundred percent you shouldn't marry a man you don't trust oh you understand that? what if it's because of something that happened in the past we take for instance you i had problems with my dad growing up yes i was raised by him but me and him didn't have a bond i would say Your dad. so since then i don't think it's easy to trust the other gender. Oh, so it's not because they are, you don't trust him because of what he did. No, no, no. Because of what your dad did in the past. Yes. So because of that, you don't trust any man, in short. Now, what I mean is, do you trust this gentleman that you're dating, that he, he is a good man, he can look after you, he cannot cheat? Do you trust? Okay, I don't believe men cheat, but I mean, do you trust this particular man? Yes, I do. That is responsible. Yeah, I do. I think if a, if a man is responsible, he should be trusted. That's the first thing. You understand? If he's responsible, you know he can take care of you, you know. He can look after the family, respect your parents. I think he should be trusted. Oh, okay. And what makes a man a good man? Only if he's responsible. But don't you feel he has to reciprocate that trust? Oh, I'm sorry to say it's not a 50-50 situation. You see, a man is commanded to love. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. He's commanded to love his wife and protect the wife and provide. And a woman is commanded to love only. You understand? 
Yes. And the kind of love is that love that you grow to love a person. Because he comes to you as a stranger. While talking to you, start growing to love him. Yeah. You understand? Yes. And um, I, would, I would say much, but I, I want you to tell me. If he asked you today to marry him, what could be your answer? If you walk to you today, right now right in this now? very studio, right now, and say, and kneels down, is kneeling down telling you, would you marry me? I'd say no. You'd say no. Because of what? Because you're not ready? Because you feel like uh, he's not the, the actual no, guy? I'm still trying, as I said at the beginning, I'm still trying to gather up myself. So I don't think of that. Okay. So. Going back to gathering yourself, where are you coming from for you to gather yourself? Um, broken pieces? I don't know if I could quote Did you break your heart? Yeah. You did something wrong? Yes. Do you mind sharing? No, I can't share. But he cheated on you? <laughs> no, he did not cheat. The only thing that breaks women is when a guy says he cheats. Yeah. So, did he break your heart? No, he did not. It's just... It's something I can't talk about. No, no, no. Okay, okay. I, I respect that. Yeah. But it broke your heart. So you you feel wounded. Yes. So you're trying to gather yourself to be sure. Three years is a long time. Is it two years? Still two. Still two years. A long time. I'm thinking about you right now going through this, cha this challenge. And I'm thinking about you watching right now going through the same situation. Okay? How can you stand strong and choose the right person? The first thing is not every person should be married. I say that all the time. Not every person should be married. Why you want to marry a person? Why? This man that you want to marry, what is he bringing into your life? In your life, personal life, what is he bringing? And apart from him bringing anything, what are you bringing into his life? Why you, why you want to be together with a stranger? What do you want from a stranger? Ask yourself these questions. And when you find the answer like you cannot do without this person, then you know you found yourself a woman or a man.